Okay, so once again, we've kept developing this and we keep moving on and we're, we're arranging and we're looking at different ways of working. This lesson, we're going to move on to the melodic kind of section. Now, if you're a singer, you're going to want to sing this part. I, I'm not a singer, so I've just kind of played it in, but I'll show you what I've got and I'll show you how I've developed that. One thing I've done now is start to work out my sections just so I can get a bit more organized. And all I've done is use this marker tool by clicking on this and then putting your playhead wherever you want it. You then you can press this plus button and you can create these little breaks. Every time you press the plus button, it creates a little break and then you can double click and label it whatever you want. Um, so that's making us a bit more organized. Now, for the melody, what I've done is I've kind of stretched this part out. You saw last time that I had kind of eight blocks all together. Well, I've just now cut them into two blocks of four, moved this end part down a bit, and just made a bit of room for a melodic section. Now, the melodic section is just going to predominantly be all about these chords. But I've also added this little break where there's nothing happening. I wanted that to be a little bit of silence, just so the impact of the, mel the melody was a bit stronger. So... How I've developed my melody is very, very simple. I played this in. So select the track, make sure it's um, record armed, and then press the record button. What I tend to do is kind of press play at about bar 17, just a few bars before I want to start, and then press record. And that way I can then just get onto my keyboard and then start recording. Or if you're doing a vocal, remember you have to create an audio track for this. So then select the audio and press create, okay? Um, that's if you're doing audio, if you're doing a vocal part, but I'm just going to play this in as a melody. Now, I'm in the key of D minor. So the notes of D minor are D, E, F, G, A, B flat, and C, okay? But the only notes I'm using, or I'm trying to stick around, just four notes. The notes for me are A, is I'm using this a and the D is my kind of tonic notes, the, the ones I keep coming back to. So this, this A note, I've got a G note, I've got a D note, and I've got a C note. And that's all I'm doing. I'm kind of just bouncing off the A. So I'm kind of doing this. And that's just one note. Um, so that's the the bulk of what I'm doing. So A, G, C and D. Those are all the notes. I'm just playing around with the melody that fits in with this chord structure and the groove that I've come up with. Now, when I chose the sound, I specifically went to an instrument called Sculpture. Now, if you come and you click on your instruments, remember if you're using Logic 9, they, your instrument's going to be down here. Click, hold, and then come down to where it says Sculpture. This is a fantastic instrument. Double click if you've already got it set up. And I've got this cosmic lead. If you come down to that, the blown section, and this instrument makes really nice organic kind of sounds. I started off with the airy lead. I didn't mind that. Um, and I kind of finished off with this con cosmic lead. But there's so many that you can kind of have a look at that, that kind of fit this kind of idea of a melody, okay? Um, and then it's all about phrasing after that. Don't try and overcomplicate the phrasing. If you're playing it on a keyboard, think about maybe the words that you would sing. And the words I was thinking of in my head when I come up with this is, I don't want to come down. It was that kind of that kind of vibe that was going on. So, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to come down. That kind of That kind of thing. So have a listen, see what you think. agree that that's quite effective and it's not overly complex just have a look what I did just to show that I played all that in um, and just have a play it took me a few takes if you're not happy with it remember you can always come back in press the delete and it's gone and you can start again and just keep recording just keep trying these things out I'm gonna leave you at that in the next lesson then we're just gonna look at a little bit of automation before we finish up and just do an export okay